Goodbye Lightning, hello USB-C. Apple has officially made the switch from Lightning to USB-C charging on the iPhone 15 lineup, which means you can now charge almost all your Apple devices with the same cable. That includes your iPhone, iPad, MacBook, and the updated second generation AirPods Pro. And it also means you can now share a charger with Android users too. Even Samsung chimed in on the news, tweeting, at least we can see one change that's magical. So what does the switch mean if you have an iPhone? And how do you pick pick a USB-C cable because, spoiler alert, they're not all the same. Let's break it down. Apple switching to USB-C is long overdue iPhones have used the Lightning port since 2012, but USB-C offers higher speed data transfers and faster charging. It's what other phone makers have been using for years and has essentially become the standard. In fact, the European Union adopted a law requiring all phones to be compatible with USB-C chargers by 2024, which is why Apple is rolling out this change now. But before you get excited about faster charging on the iPhone 15, you might wanna hang tight. With the iPhone 14 lineup, Apple said you could get the battery up to 50% in around 30 minutes using a lightning to USB-C cable and a 20 watt power adapter. And you're pretty much gonna get that same speed using a USB-C 20 watt power adapter with the iPhone 15, according to Apple. For comparison, other companies like OnePlus and Motorola say you can get almost a full charge on their phones in that same 30 minute time span using a USB-C connection. So maybe in time, charging on the iPhone will get faster, but don't expect it right out of the gate, which leads to an important caveat, not all USB-C is the same. USB-C only refers to this oval-shaped connector technology. Two USB-C cables won't necessarily have the same charging or data transfer speeds. That's because there are different standards of USB, starting with the original standard that was released in 1996 with a top speed of 12 megabits per second. Over the years, newer iterations were released with faster speeds, leading to the current standard of USB 4, which has a top speed of 40 gigabits per second. When USB-C first came out, a lot of Android phones only supported slower USB 2 data transfer speeds, but that's changed over the years with a lot of companies now supporting the much faster 10 gigabit per second connections. When you're shopping for a cable, it's easy to look for a cheaper option, but just remember that you usually get what you pay for. It's more expensive to build cables that support high-speed data or faster charging, so you may end up paying more for a product that really delivers. Which brings us to Apple's USB-C cables. The iPhone 15 ships with a USB-C cable, but if you're looking to buy one separately, it's good to explore all your options. Apple's USB-C to lightning adapter sells for around $30. It also has a one meter cable that supports charging of up to 60 watts and data transfers at USB 2 rates. That one costs around $20. And then there's also a 240 watt cable that also transfers data at USB 2 rates and costs around $30. Now, those amounts far exceed the charging capabilities on the iPhone or really any other device you might own, but you'll be able to use those cables across everything from your MacBook Pro to your iPhone 15. If you want those faster USB data transfer speeds, you'll need to pay up and get the $70 Thunderbolt 4 Pro cable, which supports charging up to 100 watts. But ultimately, the really great thing about USB-C is that you don't have to get your cable from Apple or an Apple certified retailer. You can shop around and see if other manufacturers have better prices that also match what you need in terms of charging and data transfer speeds. Also, it's worth noting that data rates aren't really as important as they used to be. Thanks to cloud services, most of us aren't syncing music and photos between our phones and laptops via cables anymore. But if you are someone who's shooting several gigabytes of 4K ProRes video, then it's a good idea to opt for those faster cables. The switch to USB-C will ultimately mean we can all be unified under one cable, but it'll be a bit of an adjustment as people weed out their lightning cables as they slowly become obsolete. The good news is when you're cleaning out your drawers, you're likely to find some old USB-C cables buried in there too. Thanks so much for watching and let us know in the comments how you feel about Apple switch to USB-C. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to CNET for more of our ongoing coverage on all things Apple and iPhone 15.